But like many moms, Linda is desperate to help her son Andrew to stop smoking. I found out a few years ago that my son Andrew was smoking. I was horrified. Yeah, I know I should quit, but just fighting the cravings is pretty hard. It's way easier said than done. Smoking in itself is bad, but for my son Andrew, it's worse. He has a medical condition. It's gotten so bad that his doctor, who treated him for his condition, has refused to be his doctor until he stops smoking. You always hear that people aren't going to quit smoking until they're ready. Is there any way to get my son to stop smoking? The good news is Andrew does want to stop smoking, but he's here with his mom, Linda, today because in spite of that, Andrew, you, you smoke. And how old are you? 19. 19 years yes. of age. And Dr. Shears, let's talk about this really quickly before we get to Andrew's situation. Kids know the dangers, adults right. know the dangers. Why, why do kids you get know, started? It's, it's actually harder for a teen to quit an addiction than an adult, and that's because their brains aren't done developing. The bra brains, everybody's brain develops from back to front, and it's the front part, this frontal lobe is what links actions to consequences. You know, driving fast leads to dying in a car accident. Kids just don't have that ability yet. What we're gonna do is show you today some of the consequences. First consequence, you have issues with your esophagus, mm -hmm. even some That's potential correct. precancerous growth. Right. Every time you smoke a cigarette, that weakens your esophageal sphincter, allowing acidic substances from your stomach to further increase your odds of getting esophageal cancer. These are a set of pig lungs. These are gonna inflate like normal lungs. You think those lungs, they look like they're working pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. No problem? Yeah. yeah. Will you put a pair of those gloves on for me, Andrew? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, things seem fine. You're a smoker, it's no big deal. Well, I want you to feel this little area over here and compare how that area there feels to the rest of the lung. You know what that area is? That's lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And wow. that is, every time you take a drag of a cigarette, that is what you are increasing your risk of. So. You may think this won't happen to you, right? The truth is Andrew's body is already reacting to the effects of smoking. We actually had Andrew go to a test measuring the capacity of his lungs yesterday. I want everyone to look at this video because Andrew went for a run. And then after going on that run, he went ahead and did a lung capacity test. And you were able to breathe out 5.5 liters like I'm holding here. Very well done. And that's pretty good. It is good. So no complaints there, but after Andrew smoked, he did the exact same run, went ahead and did the lung function test, and not to be the bearer of sour grapes, but 3.3 .3 is what you got. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, looking at you breathing there, I don't know if you could tell the difference, but just visually, this is a pretty drastic difference here after smoking one cigarette. Do you feel more short of breath after you smoke? Mm -hmm, definitely. So smoking does affect your lungs. And the good news, Andrew, here is we brought you to show you what smoking can do. But there's also a lot of great news. Because you're only 19, if you choose to quit now, you will avoid your increased risk for lung cancer. Because within 10 minutes of quitting your last cigarette, your lungs will start to regenerate themselves. And within a few months or even a few years, you'll be as if you never smoked. So if you're willing, to, to take this step, we actually have the Freedom Laser Treatment that we're gonna offer to you for free. And this is just one of a multitude of options because it's not always easy to quit on your own, okay? And Andrew, we're gonna stick by you. We want you to quit, okay? And if this treatment doesn't work, we're gonna try something else. I'm gonna give you my email address so we can stay in touch okay. and make sure you eventually quit because we really want you to live a long, you. healthy, happy life. I do too. <laughs>